Welcome to this brief guide on how to find and use groups on Mastodon. If you've ever found yourself browsing Mastodon and trying to find your own type of community, but not knowing exactly what kind of hashtag to search for, well, today I'm gonna to show you how to use groups to make that easier. Here you can see I have what we call guppy groups, and you can access them by going to the website a.gup.pe. This here will give you a bit of an understanding as to what these guppy groups are. They are essentially an account that you can follow where when you tag them, they will automatically boost your content to everybody who follows that particular group. This is a great way to be able to find people who share a common interest with you. If you scroll down on the website, you'll be able to see a bunch of the most active groups. In this case, it only shows the top 50 though, and there's no real easy way to search, but I'll show you a feature in just a moment. Normally, to follow one of these groups, such as, say for instance, Bookstodon, you would need to click on their group profile and go through a multi-step process. However, there's a much easier way to do this directly from your own Mastodon client. So let's try that out now. Here, I've jumped over to my Mastodon instance, and yes, I've migrated from universodon.com recently. And what I need to do is I just head to the search box and I type in the at username and then at a.gup.pe. In this case, I've searched for the audiobooks group. This is a group that I already know exists. So simply clicking on that will show me that this is tagged as a group. It's a great way for me to understand what the type of account is that I'm looking to follow. And here you can see that it's automatically boosted this post from Lawrence Allen. The reason is because Lawrence has tagged this particular group. Now, regardless of the hashtags that are used in his post, his post would be boosted by this account and it will reach anyone who has chosen to follow this particular group. But how do you find out if a group exists? Well, the benefit here is that this particular system will automatically create a group if a group does not already exist when you search for it. And so here's that mechanical keyboards group. This particular one was actually only created yesterday and so it only currently has a single follower. In my particular case, I'm gonna to choose to follow this particular group so that anybody who mentions the group in one of their posts, I will see that in amongst my home timeline, just as if I was following that particular person. So here I can create a post. And in my particular case, I'm gonna say, if you're a fan of mechanical keyboards, I definitely suggest you follow this particular group and I can publish my post. And then all I need to do is basically give this page a bit of a refresh It'll take a couple of seconds for the website to reload. And there's my post. I've actually put in that particular post and you'll notice that it's been boosted to all of the users who follow this group. Now this would be the same regardless of what hashtags I used, which means that even if we were communicating and talking about some other topic, anyone who follows that group, just like any other account, will see those posts. This is a great way to be able to flesh out your home timeline with posts from like-minded individuals without necessarily needing to know the specific hashtag that you need to search for. And who knows, you might even find some new people to follow in the process. And that is how you find and follow groups on Mastodon. I hope you found this tip extremely useful and it helps you find your own personal communities on Mastodon. And I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, be sure to check out the channel. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.